Okay, last one of the day. Reviewers, you're still, still hanging in there? Everyone's done four speeches, right? Of the people that were reviewing today? Okay, good. Um, just so people know, uh, people that are reviewing next time are Nick, Hannah, Greg, Mike, Josh, Landon, and Sarah. So just make sure your warm bodies are in the chairs. And I'll give you the papers when you get here. Come on. Ready? Go ahead. Marijuana. Mary Jane, pot, grass, weed, reefer, and hemp. If you don't already know, one of these doesn't belong, so which one is it? If you guessed hemp, then you're correct, and you've also guessed the topic of my presentation. Today, I want to explain why the United States federal government should legalize hemp and so that we may begin to see its cultivation on a national level. First, I will distinguish between hemp and marijuana. Then I want to explain the significance of hemp in U.S. history, after that, I will tell you about Harry Anslinger, who, as drug policy reform expert Pete Geither would say, drew upon the themes of racism and violence to draw national attention to the problem he wanted to create. Finally, I will discuss the benefits of hemp and why it should be legal here in the United States. To begin with, the best way to distinguish between hemp and marijuana is the percentage of THC present in the plant. THC is the main psychoactive substance found in the cannabis plant. Typically, hemp contains below 0.3% uh, or lower of THC, while marijuana usually contains anywhere from 3 to 20%. According to the North American Industrial Hemp Council, to receive a standard psychoactive dose would require a person to power smoke 10 to 12 hemp cigarettes over an extremely short period of time. The large volume and high temperature of vapor, gas, and smoke would be almost impossible for a person to withstand. Another difference between the two include the species of cannabis plant a seed will grow into. Uh, hemp and marijuana both come from cannabis sativa, which grows tall, skinny, and produces thin leaves, in contrast to cannabis indica, which solely provides uh, marijuana with short, bushy, and broad leaves. Uh, lastly, hemp is uh, cultivated for industrial and commercial use, while marijuana is intended for use as a psychoactive drug. From the Native Americans to our founding fathers, hemp has been widely used for a variety of purposes. Uh, when the European colonists first arrived to the New World, Native Americans were already cultivating hemp. Um, after many people discovered the usefulness of hemp, some states made must-grow laws during the 1700s which encouraged people to grow as much hemp as possible. Uh, some places like Virginia actually would fine people if they refused to grow the hemp. Um, according to Global Hemp, several colonies passed legal, tenders law, legal tender laws and hemp was so valued it was used to pay taxes. Um, another, inter another interesting fact uh, is that former President Thomas Jefferson uh, ha actually had reserves of hemp uh, that he used as currency when the government was in short supply of money. Uh, during World War II, uh, the U.S. government showed its support for hemp by making the movie Hemp for Victory. Uh, which encouraged farmers to grow as much hemp as possible. Unfortunately, the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937 helped bring about the criminalization of cannabis in general. The bill was passed because of greedy and racist men working in industries who sought for hemp's destruction, uh, such as the paper and petrochemical industries. Uh, the propaganda against hemp soon followed the tax, uh, therefore it was not long before uh, prohibition of hemp came into existence. As previously discussed, hemp became a problem in the United States, mostly because of one man, Harry Anslinger. Harry Anslinger was a driven individual who rose up to become the first commissioner of the Treasury Department's Federal Bureau of Narcotics. He received this position because he was, de he was deemed an incorruptible person. However, Anslinger was nothing of the sort. During his campaign against all forms of marijuana, including hemp that lasted from 1930 to 1937, Mr. Anslinger would make false assumptions, crude accusations, and misguided statements that could only be uttered by a racist and hateful man. In one of these absurd statements, Harry Anslinger declared, you smoke a joint and you're likely to kill your brother. 
Now that our society is relatively hemp-free, most people are unaware of the many benefits hemp has to offer. First off, hemp can be used to make a variety of foods. These include bread, granola, chips, salad dressings, milk, uh, cereals, and many other supplements. The hemp seeds themselves contain all the essential amino acids and fatty acids necessary to maintain healthy human life. Hemp also has significant medicinal purposes. It has been shown to release symptoms of eczema and show anti-inflammatory properties. In addition, a 1999 workshop by the U.S. National Institute of Health demonstrated the balance of omega acids that uh, hemp can provide in our diet would reduce the risk of sudden, sudden cardiac death and certain types of cancers, decrease the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, improve the mood and bipolar disorders, and optimize development in infants. In addition, the hemp fibers themselves are commonly referred to as blast, and they are incredibly strong and can run the whole length of the plant, which is up to 15 feet. These fibers are used exten uh, extensively for canvas, um, rope, and well, they were used extensively for canvas, rope, sail, um, twine before nylon came into existence. Hemp fibers have also been used to increase the strength of concrete, and they've been used with other materials to make the, compo the composite panel of cars. Uh, hemp shows significant promise in relation to agriculture as well. These tall, dense plants are highly effective at killing tough weeds, and they can help farmers avoid the use of herbicides. Uh, hemp can also clear the harmful chemicals from wastewater, um, so this ability to clean contaminants is being used at uh, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster site, which some of you may be familiar with, but the real point is that hemp can um, just help our agriculture in general. Um, now that, okay. uh, now that you're aware of the differences between hemp and marijuana, the history of hemp here in the U.S., a man named Harry Anslinger, and all the benefits surrounding hemp, I will leave you with a few parting thoughts. Every government tries to help us dis distinguish between right and wrong. Laws are constantly altered, enacted, disregarded, or discarded. And in the U.S., there's no reason why hemp shouldn't be legalized completely, since the whole reason it became illegal in the first place was due to propaganda and extensive funding from people who had selfish interests. Hemp has been used for thousands of years, and by limiting its potential for growth here in the U.S., uh, we're simply missing out on a, su a substantial opportunity for growth and de development. Not even 100 years have passed uh, since hemp first became illegal, and already there are countless advocates for it. So I urge each and every one of you to think about the issue and take a stand on an issue plaguing our society today. Thank you. Okay. Okay. First day 